Hello and welcome everybody. I hope that you're doing good and I have to say it has been a very, very long time since we've done any kind of collection showcase video here on the channel. First and foremost, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some more showcases of what my catches have been like and what Pokemon are in my collection. We're going to be talking about Shadow Shinies. Some of these are amongst the rarest Pokemon in the game that you could possibly get. Not only are they difficult to get, you have to battle Team Rocket Leaders to get them. They have a pretty difficult shiny ratio to get and they rotate now every three months or so but sometimes they're only available once or twice so let's have a little look at what we've got here so my very first shadow shiny was actually a coughing this is a proper throwback because this thing came from a jesse and james balloon so this thing you had coughing and ekans and we got this one and it took me 16 nearly 1700 rocket battles including grunts and stuff to get one so this took me a long long time at the sort of at the tail end of september in 2020 then at the beginning of november of 2020 we managed to get our second shadow shiny which was the shadow shiny growlith a fabulous looking little shadow shiny it says right there team leader arlo had this for the very first time back in the day i was just chasing kind of everything but my shadow shiny luck in the early days of the rocket system was terrible. Next up, this is actually quite jokes. This was caught as a shadow shiny on my birthday, the 12th of February of 2021, and this was the day that I hit level 50 in Pokemon Go. Level 50 requires you to defeat each of the team leaders with Pokemon less than 2,500 CP. This came out of a Sierra battle, as you can see, and this was completed on my birthday before we actually hit a 12 hour live stream to hit level 50 on my birthday by doing a thousand excellence in just over 11 hours. So my third Shadow Shiny was actually caught on my birthday and from a Sierra battle. And then next up, we're going right on through. This was caught after defeating Jesse. You can see there, it actually shows you now. Jesse and James had the two bug Shadow Shinies, Scyther and Pinsir, and we got two of them. Unbelievably, I think literally one day apart, two Shadow Shiny Scythers. We also picked up the Shadow Shiny Pinsir from James. James had the Shadow Shiny Pinsir uh, in October of 2021. Then, spooling on through, we've actually got this on the channel. 2021 November, we had our very first 24-hour grind for a Team Rocket event. And we actually managed to pull in the Shadow Shiny Kanto Grimer from defeating Cliff. That was when it was in the first rocket rotation as well. And actually, hysterically, it's still labelled. This is somehow a decent-ish rank for Ultra League, I believe. When Bagon came back with Arlo, I had, in early of 2022, February, a hell of a wave in getting Shadow Shiny Bagon. So we got one, two, and three. We got three of them inside of the month of February, which is insane. And I don't think they were overly amazing IV-wise. That one, hysterically, for Great League, if I got it to a shell gone, which isn't too bad. But that one was done during Johto Tour. We got a Shadow Shiny from a Rocket Leader during Johto Tour 2022, which is amazing. Of course, let me know if you've pulled in any of these Shadow Shinies and what's your Shadow Shiny collection looking like, because we're going to look at the total number of how many I have, and you can let me know if you've got more or less. This is actually one of the rarest Pokemon in the game at all, because this was a Shadow Shiny Cubone that we got from defeating Cliff. Cliff seems to be our guy, I think. and. There was a brief event window in 2022. If you remember the Alola to Alola event, you could evolve to Alolan Marowak for the first time ever. And that meant getting the Shadow Shiny. So this is a Shadow Shiny Alolan Marowak and very few people would have this. The next up was a random Charmander. I have a suspicion that this was actually my 400,000th and first catch after 400,000 catches because we had a Rocket Leader and a Shiny Ninkada in a research task and we st stacked it that way. So August of 2022 was my first Shadow Shiny starter. You can go and check out this video on the channel if you want to. During the course of November of 2022, we had absolutely bonkers Shadow Shiny. Like when the Chop got Shadow Shiny released for the very first time. So we got one from Cliff, two, which is now a Shadow Shiny Machamp, from Cliff, and those were on the same day. And this was on the same day as well. Shadow Shiny Marwile made a return, actually. This is the second time round. This is an 89 percenter. And then the day after, we got another Shadow Shiny Machop, which is just jokes. So that makes it three Shadow Shiny Machop. And then we got another Marwile a couple of weeks afterwards, actually. And then another Machop. So you can see Machop was playing very nice with me during that rotation. And then, look, the final day of 2022, the 31st of December 2022, we got 
our first shadow shiny sable I caught from a Sierra battle. I remember I put the shorts up on the channel. We have the nice Christmas snowy background on this shadow shiny, which is epic. Moving into 2023 when Beldum's shadow shiny came back, I grinded for this thing because it's also a very usable shadow, even if you don't get the shiny of it. From a Sierra battle this time around, and it's it's a fantastic looking shadow shiny, isn't it? Brilliant. I also put this up as a short on the channel. A Shadow Shiny Magnemite, first time round in the Rocket Leaders. Caught at Las Vegas Airport when Francesco, Dwayne and myself were ready to fly home from Hoentor Las Vegas. And you can see, yeah, caught Las Vegas after defeating Cliff. I believe it was a, a rocket balloon at the time. Then we start moving into the Shadow Shiny Legendaries. You might have seen the raid video we did for this weekend. We have two Shadow Shiny Mewtwo's, both pretty terrible IV, but it's a lovely looking Shadow Shiny, isn't it? And here we come with another Shadow Shiny Legendary. It took me way too many raids to get Articuno. 36 raids over the course of a raid weekend, and then subsequently, Articuno has been available for the best part of four or five months, so I have not raided another one of those, but we've got the Shadow Shiny of it. And this was actually another 24-hour challenge. We pulled in our very first Kanto Shadow Shiny Geodude, which is a lovely looking gold and shiny with the purple aura. It's amazing. From a Sierra Balloon, this was our Midnight Balloon over the course of a 24-hour challenge. I think that was for Solstice Horizons in 2023. You can go and check that out here if you fancy it. Then Shadow Shiny Zapdos starts to come through and be very nice during the course of September, with Moltres following swiftly after in October. The 1st of October, actually. I think it only took like three, four raids to get that one, which is amazing. And you can see we've got two in the same day, which is epic. Another Shadow Shiny Zapdos in October as well. And another Shadow Shiny Moltres as well. And then Lugia came for the raid weekend. Again, this was actually in a 24-hour challenge as well, unbelievably. So I think this was actually for the Halloween event, potentially, was it? Yeah, this was during the Halloween 24-hour challenge. So we did get one Shadow Shiny Lugia having done... I honestly, I think it might be one raid and done from memory. It could be. It could very well be. When Shadow Shinies got put into the raids, I didn't really care too much for them, but Machop decided to sparkle first in terms of one stars. This wasn't a particularly good IV one, but hey, it was from a raid. And then, you would have seen this one recently. My most recent Shadow Shiny, the first one of 2024, caught after defeating Cliff. I have chased that Shadow Shiny Dratini. Maybe around 160 encounters from the Rockets, and we got the Pink Noodle finally. So, in total, I haven't transferred any of these. I have to say that. I've never transferred a Shadow Shiny. We have 33 to our name, including legendaries and things like that. So let me know how your Shadow Shiny collection is looking compared to this. And I will say, I'm fairly sure there are many of you out there who have substantially more than me. Depending on how you view Rocket Leaders, I don't tend to go for every single Shadow Shiny. It's not too important for me. I'll grind for the one that's the most meta-relevant. And I mean meta-relevant is in raids. If there isn't one, it's kind of a free-for-all. I'll do it for free and stuff like that. Don't really mind. So let me know in the comments below how your Shadow Shiny collection is looking and if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to throw a like down on that video and do subscribe if you are new as well i'd hugely appreciate the support them on the random dog in the background there and of course i have to say a massive thank you to everybody who is a wonderful patreon supporter you guys are the reason i can continue to do the pokemon go content the live streams and the live event travel as well. So thank you so much for your continued support as me as a creator. And obviously you're gonna let me know if you'd like to see some more collection videos. Of course, Pokemon Go collection, there's plenty of shinies, hundos, nundos, and all kinds of things to go through. So let me know if you'd like to see some more. And until the next time, I will say, do take care.